Hey everyone, are you looking for an Android home screen that you want to really stand out, that's really clean and minimal, that you want when you look down and say, wow, that's an awesome home screen? Well, my name is Marco and welcome to my color screen. So William Gravel 2000 has brought you this amazing home screen called Flat Blue and it's training quite well on the My Color Screen site. It's, what makes it stand out is that it's got it's very fresh and clean looking with those blue tones that really make it stand apart from the rest. It's got everything that you need in a home screen including your time, really, really fresh looking weather icons as well as the weather for the next few days as well as a battery circle that really makes it look cool as you can quickly look down and see how much battery you got. This is finished off with a Google search bar at the top as well as at the bottom it's got your news reader bringing everything that or all of your news onto one home screen. So if you want a really fresh and clean looking home screen well you've come to the right place as this is a video tutorial to explain how to recreate this home screen. So let us begin with today's video tutorial. Okay great so starting off with this home screen remember you want if you have any widgets you want to just drag them into the X at the top as I'll be using Nova Launcher, but you're still welcome to use SS Launcher as well as Apex Launcher to complete this home screen. So we're going to be starting off with our Nova Launcher settings. If we hold down on the home screen and we select the wrench at the top, bring us into our settings. And then from here, we're going to go into our desktop grid. Now for the Nexus 4, I used an 11 by 11, but if you're using an S2 and S3, a 10 by 10 should work, but you might just have to play around and see what works best for you. So for Nexus 4, I went for 11 by 11, and then I was selected OK. Margins you can leave as none. Shadows you want to take off. Home screens you're going to be only having one home screen. You want to disable label icons, and your widgets overlap and overlap when placing are quite important in this one, as especially if you're using a Nexus 4, as pretty much all of them are going to be overlapping from each other. So you might want to take note of that. From here, we're going to go back, and then your, your dock, you want it to be disabled. Your look and feel, the only thing you want to change is if you scroll down to the bottom, you want to disable the notification bar, that's this bar at the top here. Now if you still want to get it though, you can, you'll still be able to swipe down, but if you want you can always apply and gesture and button to say double tap to quickly just toggle it to see what you have. Now one thing to take note of is that, well for the Nexus 4 version, it does not have an app draw button. So you're welcome to use any gestures to say swipe up to show your app draw. But if not, and you're lazy like me, you can just set the home button, that's this one over here, to make it open up your app draw. You're also welcome to do this on any of the other phones. So once that's done, that's pretty much your Nova settings complete. We're going to go back again, and there it is. Everything should be set up, ready for the wallpaper. Great, so for the wallpaper, it's very easy to set up. We're just going to be holding down on the home screen and selecting wallpapers. Now just remember if you're using a Galaxy S3 the wallpaper is going to be slightly different. It's got your app drawer at the bottom as well as your settings just to make sure that everything fits in the right space. So if you're using an S2 or an S3 and you've got that same resolution I recommend just setting it up using Quick Pick or just your simple gallery and set it from there. However if you're using like me and you're using a Nexus 4 you're going to have to go into good old wallpaper wizardry. Yes that's right because you you just want to get that wallpaper fitting correctly so we just need to go back here find the folder that you saved it in so you just need to select the S3 version but if you don't know what that is as you can see there's the 3 over here you're gonna let's see hold down on this one and it says the S3 or flat blue dash S3 so that's the one you're going to be using so you're just going to go back and select it and it brings it up like this from here you're going to go set and you're going to go crop and you want to select crop portrait you want to select no scroll Gonna say loading crop and now you just want to make drag these handles out and you just want to only select the top as you can see that all apps and settings gets cut off so if you're in s3 make sure that you can see it at the bottom so make sure that it's right at the top and you just want to select set and it'll set the wallpaper for you boom just like that and there we have our wallpaper setup now i do recommend going first into your simple rss as well as your desktop visualizers as with UCCW, you can always rearrange later and it's not really a hassle. So we're going to be starting with our simple RSS widget over here. If we hold down and we select widgets, you want to select simple RSS widget right here. Now first you're going to jump into manage RSS feeds. You just want to get rid of them like this. If you want to tap the X and then you can go add RSS feed and you're welcome to change or use any one that you want. I'm just going to go for life hacker and then select back. Now it's going to really add it for you. Now you just want to resize it a bit and then 
select the, the wrench to get back into your options here. Now all you have to do is customize each one of your, well, your text so you don't have to select the new source if you want and your news text you can change to whatever you want as well. So I want to go for that nice blue and then select OK and then for your background you want to make it fully transparent so swipe all the way to the left and go OK. You still want to have your icons there just in case you want to change the colors a bit but we want to make those icons fully transparent. So all you have to do now is go back and see what it's going to look like. So like I said, if you don't like the way it looks, the colors are look, looking, then you just need to select that bottom corner there and you can get back to all your editing that you need. So from here, we're just going to go back again. And one thing to take note of, notice the position over here. Now like I said, this is why we're doing the simple RSS widget first as if you added in the UCCW skins and you resize them and repositioned and re-edited all of them, and then you added in this and you notice it was too far on the left or the right, you're going to have, have to be changing all of those skins once again. So I highly recommend doing this first and then we'll move on to our desktop visualizers from here. Awesome, now our desktop visualizers are very easy to add. We're just going to hold down onto our home screen, select widgets and we haven't used this app in a while. It is called desktop visualizer and it comes in real handy. Let's go for a one by one as you're going to be resizing it and we're going to start with the Google search bar at the top. Just need to hold down on it and select resize. It's going to resize it, make sure it covers the entire bar, it doesn't really matter if it's a little bit higher, but now you're going to be selecting the skin to open up the editor. From here you're going to select icon. Now what's great about the new update from Desktop Visualizer is that you can select others and you want to select none. You do not need an icon for this widget. Now you want to launch, you want to select action and you can learn, select launch application and you can go into your Google search app I guess you can call it. So you're just going to select Google and you want to clear the label and then take off any touch effects and then select OK. So once you select it like that, it opens it up quick and simple, real handy to have. Now for the S3 version, you're going to be doing the exact same, except at the bottom here, we'll have your app drawer as well as your settings. Remember, if you want to open up your app drawer, you just have to go Nova Actions and then select App Drawer if you want to do it like that. Great, so once your desktop visualizers have been set up, you're going to be moving on to the final part, which is your UCCW skins. Now for these UCCW skins, there's going to be a little bit of effort involved in them as you want to be editing them to make them fit your phone's resolution exactly. But luckily that it's UCCW, is that, that is very easy to do. So all you have to do is hold down on the home screen, select widgets, and then go to UCCW. Now it doesn't really matter what size you choose, as always, as you'll be resizing it to whatever you want. From here, you're gonna select user, and you wanna go into that folder that you've copied onto your phone called Flat Blue that's got all the users provided. So from here, let's start off with, say, the clock. You're gonna select the clock. It's gonna import the skin, and there it is like that. Remember, if you get the white box, to remove it, and then select it from your UCCW skins list. So it's gonna tap there on the hand, and there it is like that. So all you have to do is drag it to say all the way across, maybe one bigger. But now as you can see for the Nexus 4, it didn't really fit in too well, but do not worry because it's UCCW. If you just select it now, select background, which brings up your select object and you go to common controls. Remember common controls moves everything in the skin. Real neat little trick. You're going to select faster movement as there will be quite a lot of moving to be done. And you have to see it not too much, well, so you're gonna have to do it again. Let's see how that looks, great stuff. So depending on what phone you have, you're gonna have to be do, doing some resizing for each. It is designed for the S3, so for the S3 or the S2 users, you might not have to do as much resizing, but like for the Nexus 4, I had to do quite a lot. But luckily, it only took about five or 10 minutes as it is UCCW after all. So next, we're gonna be adding in our weather here. Remember, select any size, go to use it, and then select the weather. So I've already done some resizing there and beneath that you want to add in the notifications or the it's called the missed user. So that's been resized there. Now your Gmail one is going to look all funky. It's going to say Gmail something something. So you're just going to select the editor, going to go background. You want to go into Gmail one, swipe all the way across. You want to go into your account or this account button and you want to select which email account you want to use. Remember it has to be a Gmail. You want to go into your label and then select inbox and it should appear like this. Finally, we're going to be moving on to our battery level over here. It might take some more editing to do. All you have to do is select it and bring it up. 
it what I recommend you do is if you go into the battery circle and you swipe across there's a few different controls that you can change if you go to controls number four you can change the width and the height which just makes it say bigger or smaller as well as if you scroll to controls five is changing the thickness and all of those will help you to just get a better fit of the entire widget so there it is once you set up all your UCCW skins you just need to say open one of them and you want to go options here go into your menu here and then go into you're welcome to change your hotspots if you want but if not you just need to go lock widgets and go on remember we've got our uccw tutorials below if you need some more help on this amazing app so there we have our home screen complete if you have any questions please please leave them in the comments section below so thank you very much guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my color screen channel as well as check out our facebook google plus and twitter communities so thank you very much guys for watching, this is Marco from My Color Screen and as always, don't stop customizing.